Well, they've had a night in the box together. We're now going to take it a stage further. It's quite a big ask for this mare to take on another little foal. She's had her own from January, which has been living out under the stars. And to ask her to be confined in a little box with a strange foal and love it like its own is quite a big challenge. So we're going to bring her out, let her have a pick of grass, and let this little chap burn off some energy. <laughs> Next step now, hopefully, when she's had a pick of grass, we'll put her back in the box. She'll be fully accepting of it, you know, and, and she'll just let it wander up and suck. All it wants to do now is exercise. You know, it's getting stronger, fitter, quite confident as well. See, this is what they're born to do. It's not natural for them to be shut in, but you have to have that bond before you can let them do this next stage. So it's a nice sunny day, nice green grass. Should do it the world of good. So this is the first sort of fresh air and exercise space it's had. So it'll do the world of good to have a buck and a kick and wear it out. Like little children, you can't expect them to sleep all day and all night. Because no two fosterings are the same, some of these mares take to them instantly, others take a little while. Some of the foals are more forward than others. Some are a little bit nervous and take their time before they get used to sucking the mare. We gradually increase this little process till the time that I'm happy that we can just let them get on with it and leave them to their own devices. <laughs>